Hello, I'm Dr. Henry Webb, Superintendent of the Kenton County School District. Today we have our board president with us, Mr. Carl Wicklund, and we have a couple of messages for our graduating senior class. Every year at graduation, educators reflect on the academic careers of our students. This year has truly been unprecedented and difficult to process, but the class of 2020 has shown incredible resiliency and perseverance in a historic time. We cannot be more proud of what you have learned and what you have achieved during a world pandemic. Together, we have celebrated the school year in academics, athletics, and the arts. Even though this year was cut short on our time spent together, Team Kenton knows you will achieve greatness because you are simply world class. Your positivity and ability to adapt are an inspiration to all of us. Graduation is a transition into many different paths you will take, but no matter where life takes you on your journey, you will always be part of Team Kenton. Team Kenton is strong, and we will always remember this senior class and what you endured and the sacrifices you made with grace and gratitude. Congratulations to the class of 2020, and we wish you the very best as you go out and make a difference in the world. Thank you. This year will live in the history books for future generations to reflect on. On behalf of the Kenton County School Board, we would like to congratulate the class of 2020 for a job well done against unprecedented odds. No one ever attains success by only doing what is required of them. It is the amount of excellence and the dedication over and above the required that determines greatness of the ultimate distinction of the team. Remember to be dedicated to greatness is whatever path you choose. We wish you the best as the graduates and we know you are world class and will make your community a better place. Enjoy the summer, stay healthy, thank you. Hello everyone and welcome to Dixie Heights' virtual graduation. My name is Delaney McCormick and I am student council president. Would you all please rise and say our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Welcome class of 2020 to our virtual graduation ceremony. Every year the senior class declares this is the senior class that will be unforgettable. Well, you've done it. This year has been one that will forever be remembered. As you begin your senior year bonding with your classmates during our traditional Senior Spirit Fest, none of us anticipated the end of your senior year turning out quite like this. Each of you at that time had an opportunity to write down your dreams, your plans, your goals for your senior year and set out to accomplish them. As life would have it, you received a curveball, and before you knew it, things changed dramatically. Let me share with you a poem titled Coronacation, written by 2020 Dixie Heights graduate, Caitlin Weldon. Usually, I pick up my nails until raw skin is revealed. But I painted them blue this week. Last week, they were purple, and the week before, yellow. The couch has a permanent dip in the middle for where I've glued myself all day for the past three weeks. The superintendent just shut down school until the end of April, ensuring an abrupt end to my senior year. Andy Brashear came on the TV and closed all facilities promoting public gatherings. My on online classes are beginning to overlap. I sit in one only to join the live streams of two more. All the time in the world, lending me activity on top of activity, but no brain to complete any of them. Slugging around these four walls, snow coats the earth, flowers springing pollen into the muggy air, and leaves turning crispy. I thought it was time for dinner, but surprisingly enough, I have only been awake for 22 minutes. 
And so that, that poem written by Caitlin, which won an award, by the way, here locally, reminds us that life can change in a minute. But here's the thing. From my 53 years of experience, you will receive many unexpected events in your life. Whether it be losing a job or a family member, health concerns, financial struggles, and many, many other things. So what will ultimately determine your individual outcome is how you will respond when these things happen. During this pandemic, each of you had to learn something about yourself and to make adjustments. As we finished up our school year, I asked our students to complete this statement. Living through a pandemic, I have learned. So here are some final words of wisdom from your principal given to you with an assist from your peers here at Dixie Heights. Enjoy the little things in life. We can be consumed with doing so many things and acquiring so many things that when you are forced to slow down, you realize there are many things in our life that we overlook or take for granted. So don't forget to enjoy the little things in life. A genuine connection to other people is important. The realization that whether you are an extrovert or an introvert, we need the support of people around us. This could be your immediate family, extended family, mentors, or friends. But we all need someone to talk to, to walk this journey together for encouragement, support, and to even share our sadness. Routines. I'm a routine guy. And the realization that a routine can result in productivity or a lack of productivity. Because if I stay in my pajamas all day and stream Netflix all day, I've left 24 hours behind me with nothing to show for it. I encourage you to find a routine that will allow you to be successful in your personal pursuits. Lastly, wear a mask, wash your hands, social distance. All things we couldn't imagine that we would be doing when we started the school year. But here's the thing, we all need to do our part. Not just to help ourselves, but to help others who may be at higher risk than us. And that selflessness is what will set us apart as we journey through life. So class of 2020, as your principal, I want to tell you that we love you. And we look forward to all that you will accomplish as a proud Dixie Heights High School alumnus. Once a colonel, always a colonel. And I encourage you to make it a great life or not. That choice is yours. Hello there, everyone. My name is Jocelyn Geraci, and I'd like to welcome you to the Dixie Heights High School Class of 2020 graduation. The bittersweet day we always thought was so far away. The bittersweet day we couldn't have made it to without all the help from our teachers and administrators along the way. The bittersweet day we always dreamed of, but never imagined happening on the couches and TV screens of our family living rooms. These past few months have been difficult, to say the least. In our case, unfair. Unfair that we didn't get to walk the halls one last time. Unfair that we couldn't play that final game of our senior sports season, take that final bow beneath center stage lights, or dance that final dance at our senior prom. Unfair that we didn't even get to say goodbye to the teachers, friends, and second home we've held so dear these past four years. I believe it's exactly that the parting of ways without a goodbye that has hurt the most. How on March 13th, we walked the halls telling our friends and teachers, uh, have a good weekend, not knowing it was our last. I understand our time at Dixie Heights has been cut short and that the graduation we got doesn't look like the one we had in mind nor the one we deserve. But I believe the reason I'm here today is to encourage you to not let these past two months put a damper on this past four years Think of all the memories, moments, and challenges and people you've experienced since your freshman year. Think of the person you are today, how much you've truly grown since then. You may think it's strange, but I believe our class has been trusted with a lesson not many get to learn this early on in life. 
that though we didn't get to say a proper goodbye to the place and people we've grown up alongside, we can never truly know if and when life will hand us those proper goodbyes. That though we didn't get to walk across that stage in our cap and gown and graduate the way we always planned, life itself doesn't always happen the way we always plan. To be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure what's to come of our situation and what's ahead, what lies ahead and what cards each of us are going to be dealt. Regardless of what that hand may be, whether COVID-19 or something unforeseen, know that those cards are beyond your control, but how you choose to play them is. I understand today is a bittersweet one, that leaving the nest can be sad and the unknown before us a little scary. But how can you know if you can fly if you don't spread your wings and try? I believe that love, joy, and all those beautiful moments that make life itself worth living are out there, just right around the corner waiting for us. That you're going to reach such incredible heights, make so many great memories, and meet such wonderful people in this life that's only just begun. So to my fellow colonels, here's to you. Here's to seeing the good in every day to having kindness in your heart so that you may touch another's, to being that genuine change you wish to see in this world. To the class of 2020, wherever your path may lead, know that you are truly wonderful and that if you believe it, anything can happen. With that being said, it is my honor that I invite you to move your tassel with me. To the class of 2020, let your adventure begin. Hello, my name is Nate Nemi, and I am very proud to stand here before you as the principal of Dixie Heights High School. We come together during this virtual graduation as a school and a community for the commencement ceremony for the class of 2020. I would like to thank the Kenton County School Superintendent, Dr. Henry Webb, for his leadership throughout these very difficult times. I would also like to thank Assistant Superintendent Martha Setters and the rest of the administrative team of Kenton County Schools for their continued support of the students and staff at Dixie Heights High School. Finally, I would like to thank the Board of Education for their support of education in Kenton County. Without that, we would not be where we are today. It is now my privilege to recognize some other very special members of who may be watching this event. Graduates, your parents and guardians share this evening with you. You're their pride and joy, and your achievements reflect their support, encouragement, and love. A special thank you goes to each mom, dad, and guardian for entrusting your most valued possession, your children, into our care. It has truly been a pleasure. Parents and guardians, on behalf of your children, congratulations on a job well done, and thank you for your patience and perseverance in raising your children the right way. For many of you, this is a celebration that spans generations. We would like to also thank all the grandparents and great grandparents for all you have done to assist in your grandchildren's growth from little boys and girls to young men and women. To the class of 2020, teaching is a very noble profession and your current and past teachers also share this event with you in a very special way. Their dedication, hard work, wisdom, and commitment have served to challenge you, setting before you a standard by which your efforts would be measured. This has been a very difficult time for our profession to be able to change so quickly. And I want to publicly salute and thank them. They care more about you and work harder than you will ever know. I'm very proud of all the teachers who have been a part in where you are today. Distinguished guests, fellow administrators, teachers, parents, friends, and most especially the members of the graduating class. As your principal, it is indeed my honor to share with you the joy of this special occasion. At this time, we are going to hear from one of your distinguished staff members, Mr. Chris Welsh. He is a Golden Apple Award winner from this year and unfortunately was not able to have that celebration due to the pandemic but his words of wisdom will inspire you and I look forward to you hearing his words. 
Dixie Heights High School, class of 2020, honored guests, Kenton County and Dixie Heights administration, faculty, staff, friends, and family. My name is Chris Welch. I'm a world language teacher at Dixie Heights, and it is an absolute honor to speak with you today to help send off this senior year class. This is a class that's left its mark on Dixie in many ways. Yet one of my top memories of this senior class, one of the best memories of my entire career actually, really only occurred just a couple of days ago. I'd like to share with you how that came to be. The senior lap was held on Tuesday, May 12th. I came to school early and decided to head up to my classroom I hadn't been in uh, the building since we left two months beforehand. And when I entered my classroom, it was downright eerie. Notes from my fifth period class were still on the whiteboard, along with that day's date, Friday, March 13th. A hastily written schedule was on the board too, ending with Monday, March 30th, return to school. A notebook with some notes I jotted down was on my desk, and the pen I had used to write those notes was still sitting there, and a stack of papers was next to it, waiting to be filed. It was bizarre to enter this room, frozen in time. It was a visual that often our next days, our next chapter, seemed to be predictable. Yet we often forget that sometimes sudden and unexpected things can and do happen. You and I, all of us, thought that we would return. A while later, I went outside to cheer on the senior lap. It was a bright, blue-skied, sunny day, and seeing everyone's smiles and hearing Chev's music made me feel something I honestly hadn't felt for two whole months. I felt like I'd come home. And here's the memory. Here's the lesson that you taught me. Outside of the building was where I found Dixie Heights that day. Never in my life have I had it laid out before me so clearly. You are Dixie. This senior class is filled with amazing people who have made my life and the lives of all your teachers rich and full, inspiring and challenging over four whole years. You are artists, you are chefs, you are actors and musicians, scientists, you are mathematicians, hard workers and essential workers, and one of you is gonna become my plumber, and you know who you are out there. Your future military, future educators, healthcare workers, and leaders. And today, at long last, we are equals. In a week or so, my fellow teachers and I will return to the Heights to pack up our classrooms, our time capsules, frozen in time since Friday the 13th, will be boxed up and emptied so that they can be cleaned over the summer. And in August, we will hopefully return and rebuild for the new school year, a new chapter in the Dixie story, filled with new challenges, new days, and new freshmen. Ugh. Just kidding, freshmen. We love you too. But you won't be there. Your absence will be felt, and your presence will be missed, as has been the same with former senior classes since time immemorial. You will have moved on. This missed graduation ceremony today does not distinguish you. You, who you are, and what you mean to each of us, that is what distinguishes you. And that is who we will miss as we begin to move on down our separate paths. This is the point where a speech would naturally pivot to the future, that wonderful, boundless, limitless future that awaits you. 
but that is not currently the case. These next few years may be quite difficult, and I will not presume to stand here and lecture you about what awaits. If there was ever a class who has earned the right to tell their own story, it's yours. So instead of telling you what's next, your Dixie family and I pledge to stand with you through whatever's next. We need you seniors. Our nation needs you. Your creativity, innovation, dedication, hard work, and leadership will be called on now and in these coming years. And as someone who's gotten to know you, I'm confident that you will lead the way and that the rest of us will be in very good hands. We are proud of you for who you've become. We love you for who you have always been. And today, this special day, we celebrate you for all you've accomplished and this noteworthy milestone that you've achieved. And so, on behalf of the Dixie Heights High School faculty and staff, it is one of the greatest honors of my career to wish you good luck and happy graduation and all the joy, love, and celebration that comes with that. Dixie Heights High School, class of 2020, write our next chapter. And congratulations. Thank you.